Good evening and welcome to Hot Issues. It's Thursday. My name is Johnny Hughes. And many thanks indeed to Grandpa for my outfit. Tonight, we'll have a conversation with a former member of the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, a man who is uh, also known as the Asahene, Major Bwachijan, retired. He's a member of a former member of the army, and I'm sure you remember him from the, uh, the history of uh, the political history of Ghana as one of the full orchestrators of the May 15 and also the 1981 coup d'etat. He's recently been uh, arrested and granted bail by the police for making some statements considered to be war uh, mongering statements. Now, some say that it's unusual and it's unfortunate that he's beating war drums. We'll be hearing from the horse's own mouth what his interaction with the police has been, what informed that decision to make those comments that if the Electoral Commission proceeds to make uh, or compile a new register, it could endanger a civil war in this country. And for those of you who have been wondering also what inspired such comments in spite of the relative peace we're enjoying in this country, you get all the answers here on Hot Issues. Stay with us. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll connect with him and start the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. My guest this evening on Hot Issues is Major Boachi Jan, retired uh, former member of the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council. is joining us via telephone because uh, the network couldn't connect to Zoom or Skype. But uh, Major, good evening to, to you and thank you very much for your time, sir. Yes. How are you, sir? Well, uh, it's okay. We, uh, I'm having a cool here. We, we heard that you were not feeling too well, which is why you couldn't honor the CID's invest, uh, investigation interview or, if you like, invitation to you. How are you feeling today? Are you yes. feeling better? Yes. At that time, yes. But now I've, I've come back to my usual tempo. I've had going through my exercises and everything as, as, as usual. Mm. Why are you beating war drums? Well, you have to tell me what beating the war drum means because I have not, I, I, even though I'm a professional soldier, I wouldn't want to visit war on my country for any reason. It's avoidable. You have not been beating, you have been cautioning people against war. That's mm. different from beating war drums. You are comparing it because you don't, you may not understand the implication of somebody beating a war drum. Mm. In, 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 a, in a root match or something, you, you, you beat a war drum to signal to the enemy that you're coming and go to, to put people into line. But that's not what I intended or not what I've said. What did you intend to carry across? Because the Electoral Commission insists that we need a new register. You have also insisted that if they go forward to compile a new register, uh, it will bring chaos. But somebody would say the closest you got to an election was when you contested for the NDC on the ticket of the NDC for the German South constituency. That's all your knowledge about uh, elections, really. What gives you the capacity no, to no, question? No, 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 that's not exactly true. Uh, the first general election in this country in 1951, I was, uh, I think, class one or somewhere else. And I've lived through, you know, Elections in this country since then, mm. to independence, you know, so I have a clear understanding you know, of what elections mean in, 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 in Ghana mm. and elsewhere in Africa. And given that knowledge, and also my profession as an estimator, as an intelligence analyst, mm. I was making available my stock of knowledge and forecasting what is possible. You know, if certain events take place, the one um, there's a local there's a local station in German South, mm. uh, owned by the local MP MPP MP, and on it the MPP MP uh, activists went there to claim boldly mm. that uh, if the elections were to be held today on the old register or the current register, they will increase their margin from one million on the previous election to one. Point three. Okay. That's a hang on. How do you arrive at the figure? Mm -hmm. Some people have come back to tell me that, oh, it's a result of research work and all that. So fine. Intelligence products are normally organized to do research work. Mm -hmm. But the difference is that once you've got the material, it's classified. You know, 
the allowed people who need to know to have access to it. It could be restricted, non-restricted, uh, confidential, uh, top secret, secret, and all that. Even within the institution organizing, where everybody has access to it. Mm. So if MPP has organized a uh, sensitive intelligence in nature and decide to come openly to say that the, the, the if a lesson was to be held, they win by one of mm. 300,000. Mm. And then on top of that, uh, 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 the electoral commission who has been appointed by this regime mm -hmm. also claims that no government, no party can force us independent and so forth and so forth. They are rather beating the world drum because he is a servant of, of, of the people, right. of you and me. Mm. And he cannot be allowed to say uh, 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 things that will inflame temper and create uh, uh, fear and panic. But but, is, but Major, Major, sorry to cut you, but is it not the Electoral Commission's job, per its independence and the laws that set it up, to know when to compile or not to compile a new register? No, but that's different from saying that in the preponderance of opinion, if people say they don't want it, you can't say that nobody can force me to change my mind. Mm. You know, that's arrogating to himself the ultimate authority to do whatever he wants. But that's not the meaning of independence. It's not independent of our interests as a people. Mm. That must be made very clear. He, she is there because we are there. And that's and the more important. Here is the government that has rose to power, risen to power, with the, the world of one million vote margin of victory, the largest in the history of Ghana, Ghana, the Ghana political election. Hmm. Now you are claiming that from the ashes of opposition, I repeat, from the ashes of opposition you do that. Eh? And if you now say that you can claim this for what in the ash within the government circles which you control, then the room for us to uh, show concern. All of us, stakeholders like you and me, that you can do that. If even it is at a private intelligence estimate, mm. confine it to yourself and act on it to, 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 to move your organization forward. But you don't have to come and tease everybody with it, opponents and all. And if you do that, you are, you are moving us into areas of conflict, mm. which can either be violent or non-violent. What, what, is the, what is the, Major, what is the nature of this conflict you're talking about in the civil war, which it the... Civil war could be a sitting lockout, eh? but mm. because or any 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 defiant demonstration as it happened in the colonial struggle, but when mm. it's directed at electoral mm. commission, which is a heartbeat of our democracy, then it, so it, it gives room for concern. Mm. Now, you see, what 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 exactly did you say? And you you insist that whatever you said was taken out of context. What did you no, say? No, what? no, 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 wrong. I haven't told anybody anywhere that what I said was taken out of context. I'm not, I'm not in, that, uh, in that class of people. Okay. When the police came and they played the interview back to me that I had with uh, Kwan Kaseet Kaseet for mm. okay from mm -hmm. I told them point blank that, yeah, that's my voice, and I still stand by the, the trust what, I, what 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 is being put across? That different from me, I will quote it out of context. And nobody has quoted me out of context. What did you say? I'm curious to learn. I I, 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 I said in that interview that if the electoral commission and people who control her are allowed to get their way and conduct a first election with our suspicion of cook figures. And then mm. they will lead to contest of the result, and that, given the examples of what has happened in post-independent African states, mm. starting from our own neighbors, Africa coast, Nigeria, Lagos, uh, sorry, uh, Sierra Leone, uh, who are all trying to do civil war mm. as a result of the super violational election process in their countries, we are likely to go that route. But I don't wish it to be just said in my country because of the hardships involved.
God okay. has promised him for. But that, that the wish is different from the reality. Mm. That's what I wish should not happen. But the reality is that if these developments are allowed to go unchecked, we are walking into it, sleepwalking into it. Okay. Two things come to mind. Number one, the controllers of the electoral commissioner and, if you will, uh, her going on with what she wants to do. Who are these controllers of the electoral commissioner? Do you know? The, the commissioners and the appointing agency, that's the government of the day. They, they, they manage it. He will, he will, he will do, she will do what it, they tell. The, the consensus and see what the she should do. He is an individual. She can, she alone cannot take the decision. Mm. That's why I'm trying to clear of course. I've been in government, so I know what I'm talking about. So you think the electoral commissioner is under some form of a control from the side of the ruling government? Is that correct? Say again. You think that the electoral commissioner is under some kind of a control from the side of the ruling let, government? Let, 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 let me demean uh, this argument. When somebody appoints you to do something under the constitution, he was appointed to replace a little child, child, child or say, well, well uh, I mean, he had been replaced mm. by somebody who presided over an election of a position party to win this massive result. I mean, anything can happen. But the Electoral Commission is supposed to be independent by our laws. But in practice, it is not like that. That's why if, you, if, if you're independent, that means somebody appointed. You can't be independent. You can be independent in your home, but not in the office there. Because you're acting on behalf of the people. You and me. You seem you to be sounding... In terms of the day-to-day -day execution of your duties. You seem to... In that class of taking a fundamental decision of holding a fresh... Register. She cannot claim to be independent and she can do whatever she wants. You seem to be re like you seem to be re-echoing what the NDC has been saying over and over and over again that we do not need a new register because the electoral commission had previously said that well the register is credible. We've used it to elect a president, parliamentarians, create new regions, do a district level elections. And that's the position you seem to be towing towards. Is that correct? No. But if you have a situation well, the Electoral Commission are, are going to justify the fake register by claiming that the, the, the current one is bloated, mm. which needs to clean it up. I mean, there's a conflict of interest. What, what, is, in the, the, what is in the old... In that position, the conflict, this conflict of interest is allowed to go in. It's not as against NDC as a party, mm. but the civil society, the smaller parties, in the country, they are all against it. And if you want to run against the trust, the direction, the interest of the people, then you are pushing us into a national conference room. And that's what I'm saying. And as a, a soldier uh, 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 who is a profession of arms, mm. a full profession of arms for almost 20 years, I can detect the drift towards civil war. And it is a response, my responsibility to uh, make my knowledge of it available so that we can avoid it. Do you think your past is coming back to hurt you, especially your past from the AFRC days, the PNDC days? Is it coming back to hurt you? Hang and on, hang on. There's a dangerous gap in your knowledge about PNDC and it. So PNDC. PNDC was set up when I was in the UK doing my work at Kent School University of London. And I will prove it on the day it was announced. Until it was it, democracy was restored. Mm. So don't get me involved in that uh, 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 illegal occupation of Ghana's political terrain. I was not there. I wasn't involved, and I would have refused to be involved because I was part of the group that actually overturned an existing illegal military occupation of Ghana and returned to constitutional rule in 1979. And then it. I said in the terror for the viewers on my birthday, 24th of April, 1970, I checked the details. So how do you expect me to go again that trust? I, I won't do it. It's, it's not my belief. It's not something that I believe in. I won't do it. And it but more important, if I see that we are drifting into a danger, a, a conflict that may escalate into arm or otherwise, it is my duty as a citizen of Ghana and a senior one at that, and a 
if someone who has followed the professional ones practically, and it's in division, to point it out. And that's what I've done. I'm caution the Daniels and the people who have responsibility of handling it. So look, don't move it in that direction. But the reality is that it may explode into something we can't control. Period. <laughs> Do you have what it takes to organize a coup in this country? That's the concern on the streets that if you have been part of a team that did it in the past, you could still do it again. Do you have the capacity your question, now? Your, your question, I don't understand the committee's question like that because I am not a seven army officer. <laughs> so I don't have access to making conditions. So I can't answer that question. Okay. Let's move on now and, and let's talk about what is in the old register that uh, must be kept so that a new register is not needed. The Electoral Commission insists. If, unfortunately, I've left my... I'm, I'm speaking to you from my village in Bongo Half of the okay. House. Okay. Mm -hmm. To be specific. Now, I've left my constitution there, but if you care to look at the constitution, current constitution, I believe it's Article 43. Mm-hmm. I was there. Uh, it's clearly stated that we will have the 1992... Third Republic, a fourth Republic will usher in a one document, basic document of a literal register. Mm. And that register must be updated by amendment mm -hmm. from time to time by inserting the names of those who have come of age uh, after the constitution of the register was coming to force. Mm -hmm. And those who have died must be removed from it. Amending the that document is different from organizing a fresh registry. I am for amendment, but not a, 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 a complete a, a, a overhaul and register, throwing away the old one and replacing with something else. No. Apart from difficulties of management that it will incur, the mm. suspicions it will incur because the ruling government may have interest in. Talking, now talking about cook figures that they may likely to insert in the new amend, uh, 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 register. Cook, cook figures, major cook figures from where? Who is cooking the figures? Uh, I can give you specific name. The, the youth organizer of German South MPP, okay. appointed also, uh, went on the radio, German radio, radio which is all incidentally by the Lucas MPP MP. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And claim that if the elections were to be held today, the MPP will win, will increase their margin from 1 million to 1.3. Now, for money to the world. For money to the world. Yes, right. For money to the world. Yeah, whatever. The deputy, he has been, in other words, he's involved with in that party. Mm -hmm. You see? And I'm saying that that is Halami. How did he arrive at the figure? People wow. would argue. They did by research and all that. That's fine. But I also am a professional intelligence estimate officer. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I intelligence intelligence only when it is used timely. And it's as a guide to action by the policy makers. Not the general, right? And in fact, even if an institution organizes a sensitive intelligence on that nature, Within that institution, not everybody has access to it. That's why the document can classify. So you you you, you don't you don't seem to, you don't seem to you, that. you don't seem to trust the electoral commission, do you? Second, you don't seem to trust the neutrality of the electoral commission, do you? Why 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 should you do that? You why should you trust the electoral commission when they have interest in the matter? Was they appointed by the citizen regime and keeps on saying? In the final move that nobody, he cannot be moved to do anything by persuasion. Nobody can force or even force. You can say that in absolute terms. How do you expect me to trust somebody like that? You have been asked to report to the police station uh, in Drobo, the, the regional, the district uh, headquarters, every Monday. Does that put a certain burden on you? There are inaccuracies in your statement, which I must correct. Not every Monday, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And not Drobo is a broken divisional command. Does that put pressure on you? No, I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm,
citizen. I, I have a lot of time on my hand uh, uh, doing all kinds of things. So I can I can afford to spend the time to do that. If you find the president today and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, what would you say to him from your privileged position first as a soldier, as a man who's been in government before, and making these calls and saying that we should be careful? What would you say to the president? I'm curious. I would, I would take with the memory of his history, his history he would admit, whatever he is, and I'm sure he's listening, I think that he's my classmate, he's dentist. And I'm saying to see, he's saying to see, I think either we, either he's six months older than me, or I am alone, and uh, it's immaterial. But the most important thing is that when the PNDC was formed in 1982, I think, and the 81, it's 1st December 1981, mm. on 5th, April 1982, I caused to be set up in in UK, uh, Africa Center, King Street, the campaign for democracy in Ghana, the first internationally organized resistance movement against TNDC. Uh, the current president was on the platform with me that day, mm. with Chapter Hotel News and all that. So I will remind him of, 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 of the dangers of going back into history. A, a tragic landing scene in the cold weather, <laughs> running to somebody's country when we should spend our youthful days uh, directing the affairs of our country. I remind him that if it's even you are not enough, eh? so I will remind him that if he wants to avoid a repeat of that, that mm -hmm. is not the way we should allow the letter commissioner to go about things. Some say, some say you miss the taste of power which is why you are speaking up at this time. Is that correct? Pardon? Some say you miss the taste of power, which is why you are speaking up at this time. Is that correct? Hang on. Power does not operate in vacuum. Eh? In 1979, I led an uprising and stated clearly, you know, that we we're going to do X, Y, Z within a limited, a defined time limit and leave. In my case, two days after the handing over, I was given a scholarship, UN DP fellowship to go and study postgraduate studies and work studies at King's College, University of London. Mm. And I was there when the PNDC thing came, and I put down my books and fought it. Not because I wanted a taste of power, I've had it, I've been exposed to it. I mean, when you have junior secondary school and senior secondary students and international students, that we get this all over the world, study your, your, your condo in office, what, what kind of power do you want again? You understand? In mm. any case, I don't believe in this person, permanent occupation of power. I've tasted power, raw power before, in a way that probably is not given to many of the leaders in Ghana to, uh, in the past. Okay. So, and and the, the challenges were daunting. I don't even want to be put in a position to go Work on that memory lane again, let alone do it or be a victim of it. And let me remind you, I've got two children, one nine years old and uh, the other is uh, 12 years old, right? Mm. I have my hands are full in preparing them to survive in this difficult world at the advanced age of 76. I have other concerns beyond the taste of power. You know, I want the power to work for us as a, as a nation. And the only, the, the, the only way of, you don't do that, case of power is not the only way of doing that. Okay. You can, you can be involved in organization. I'm, I'm the father of NBC. I've talked to them, and I still believe that giving the guarantee attitude. Okay. Gambling attitude of this government. This government is no more than a gambling government. I think I can say with confidence that from what I hear from uh, GDM, Mahama, the flag bearer, and the party the hierarchy and the leadership, NDC would have done better with this co uh, co co uh, C19, coordinating a threat, a global war. We are in a global war. Okay. Okay. Major, I thank you very Major. much for your time. Uh, and just curious to learn. Why do military officers have the retired at the end of their surname as opposed to being 
uh, in, in, right in front of their ranks. I'm just curious to learn. Because you can be mistaken for a serving officer if you don't put the reply there. Hmm. Okay. And, and you can create problems. <laughs> you know Even though I put the salary that one after my, my name. Now people are quick to remind me that others that they were everything, media will <laughs> you know. So in spite of the effort to say I've retired, I don't have access to okay. military solution and military resources. Thank people you. still say they are frightened because I am ex military a man, and that I can do, given the chance, I can do it again. That's why they say all that. So it's a precautionary thing. It's a tradition mm. that you are not a serving officer. Okay. Therefore, we indicate that you are retired. Thank you. Major, grateful for your time this evening, and we've been having a conversation with Major uh, Bwati Jan, retired. He is a former member of the AFRC, and as you heard him insist, he is not, uh, he doesn't miss power, and he would not want to come back. He's just sounding a note of caution. That brings us to the end of Hot Issues tonight.